Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Fish and Grills. For this episode, we're gonna be foraging for some guava. Gonna take it back home, cook up some teriyaki guava ava fish bake. Stay tuned. This episode of How's it going guys? Thanks for joining us on this episode of Fish and Grills. We'll be targeting the Hawaiian hogfish, also known as Aava or Table Boss. This is a delicious fish and pretty underrated. It's also not that hard to catch. Hogfish is an unregulated fish, but that doesn't mean you can take all the babies. Good size Hawaiian hogfish to take would be around one to three pounds. Hawaiian hogfish is closely related to the parrotfish and one of the larger members of the wrasse family. They can be recognized by their elongated snout, protruding lips, and sharp teeth. It is native to the Indian Ocean from the African coast to the Western Pacific Ocean to Japan and the Philippines. These ones that we're catching are all females. They're more common closer to shore as the male with a darker color tends to be out deeper. This is a pretty delicious fish. And we're about to throw on some guava teriyaki sauce. All right. Welcome back everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Fish and Grills. We have here is our guavas. We're gonna pick out the good ones. We're gonna scoop out the seeds, put a scoop of this. All in our homemade Auntie Fran's famous teriyaki sauce. Sit down on the side, put it over our fish. Stay tuned. Alright, now that our guavas is clean and prepped, let's get to smashing. Alright, just 
put it in the sauce. And one scoop of old Hawaiian recipes, guava jam. it up, just boil everything together. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. Alright, welcome back everybody. Here we have our teriyaki guava sauce. So what we're gonna do we're gonna strain out all the seeds and all the guava because everything's all melted inside already. And we'll bottle up and get it ready for tonight. We have a sauce ready to go. Prep the fish, a little bit of mayonnaise, bake, drip. Stay tuned. All right, let's get cleaning. All right, now everything's all scaled and gutted. Let's get the flame. everything we no waste all right we're heading to our friend Zeke's house with uh, my cousin Pomai we're gonna cook them up some fish and uh, have a good time Alright, just put up the Zeke's place. Let's get this party started. Hey! Bro? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We got our teriyaki sauce. We have our fish fillets. Japanese mayonnaise. Bones. And for dessert, scoop scoops to finish off a good dinner, some good dessert. High grade, top of the line, ice cream. Check them out, link in the description. All right, so we're gonna lay out our fillets on this pan evenly. We're gonna put in some vegetables. We're gonna put in our sauce, top of some Japanese mayonnaise. All right, first ingredient of the night, garlic salt. Yeah, oh, <laughs> lovely. That's, that's good for them. Japanese, Japanese mayonnaise. Let's get a nice coat. Not too much, not too little bit. Just right. All right, now that the oven is working again, let's preheat this to 375. So we have our asparagus and our mushrooms. So, I mean, this is unevenly. We have our vegetables laid out. We're gonna put one 
coat of the teriyaki guava sauce. And then after it's done cooking, we'll put on another layer. We'll make this in the oven for about 375. Maybe half an hour, we'll check it. Probably go another 15 minutes. And then add in another layer. Ready to serve. Stay tuned. All right, so our pan is about preheated. Let's get our fish in. Set for about half an hour. We'll check in back with you soon. All right, now we're waiting for our fish in the oven. We're gonna fry out the bones, scraps, because we don't waste anything. FNG, no waste movement. All right, so our oil is hot. Let's get started with our bones. So just basic garlic, salt, pepper, flour, fried crispy. So instead of throwing all this away, fry it up, makes a good snack. All right, the fish is almost ready. You can smell that rosemary. All right, so our fish is about ready. We're gonna take it out of the oven and we're gonna drench it with our teriyaki guava sauce. We're gonna let this sit, absorb all that flavor. We're gonna finish up cooking our fish crap and our side New York steaks. Ready to serve. Stay tuned. <laughs> all right, so our fish crap is just all done. Is our three heads, one, two, three. I wanna see how this tastes though. Yeah. <laughs> You know that guy? Oh, the f is a major. That's good. Oh, yeah. Is it hot? No, it's not. Like piping hot, bro. Yeah. It's not fix it off. That's good, right? Teriyaki guava, aava, fish bake, everybody. There's guava in there. Shout out to Scoop Scoop for providing some great A desserts. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. We had a blast. Good times, good grinds, and good people. And always stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grills. Major. Oh. Oh. Woo. Yeah. Very good. Thank you, Scoop Scoop.